Search Engine Strategies New York 2010. We have Leanne Evans who just did a fantastic uh, keynote overview of social media one-on-one, -on -one, all the channels. Lee, that was really terrific. We've got some questions. One of the issues that probably you and I both face is that we go to a number of what we'll call social media measurement tools like Radian 6 and none of the tools catch everything. Yes. So yeah. how do you deal with that? So we we do we have our own proprietary tool that we take into account that these buzz monitoring tools aren't getting behind the walled gardens or right. um, and then you know they're not capturing all the different media right. sites either. They're capturing blogs, but you know some blogs might be on newspaper sites that they don't bring right. in. So right. It's also we also take in or the TV Google. root stuff. Yeah, and we and we look at um, doing we we're very proprietary in how we take our, our method in, in our own practice. And one, it's our own tool, and then the other part is we use Google as right. well. I mean, Google is a really great place to go find the influencers and right. you know uh, talk to them, and that might not be being picked up with these different right. types of tools. So you use multiple tools. You might use a baseline tool like Radio 6, you might end up doing a Google search, and then use a proprietary tool in order to get the most right. to get comprehensive the, uh, yes, report you can. absolutely. Yeah. And then you brought up a very interesting point, which um, I'm just curious about the methodology that you'd recommend for clients, that uh, whether we're looking at the social networks like Facebook, we're looking at the social news, the demographics of the audience change. I thought the fact that you know the fastest growing demographic on Facebook is the 45 plus women mm -hmm. audience, it's like uh, you want to be able to tell your clients, um, here's a growing demographic that's important to you. Um, what, what do you do methodology-wise to go and, and keep track of what the growing demographics are on these channels? So we subscribe to a lot of different industry uh, information, e-marketer, yep. um, you know, e-consultancy. Yep. All these different sites have all this, they do all this research into who's using what different types of things. So we uh -huh. can pull those into there. And then, of course, the own sites themselves, they keep, uh, they kind of monitor that as well because when people join uh, these social communities, a lot of times they are a lot more honest about that they're a male or a female, what their age is. Right. And they can also kind of tell from their friends and who right. they interact with what these demographics are, as right. opposed to your email where, you know, if somebody's putting in Google in a Gmail or a Hotmail account, they're not really putting their real age and you can't really right. target as well right. uh, as so, you can with these. So a combination of a litmus test of yeah. looking at the profiles, maybe the media kits from these social media Absolutely. sites, and then some third-party research firms like eConsultancy and eMarker that track these type of demographics exactly. for these sites. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough, it's it, a lot of information it's a, to gather. It's not free and it right. takes a lot of time and research right. to get it right. Right. Well, this is a, a, a great overview, Leanne. Not, not, not that we expected anything less <laughs> than a great overview of putting the puzzle together and always good to see you at Search Engine Strategies. Great to see we'll you. We'll see you in San Francisco, if not sooner. Oh, yes. This year. Okay, thanks again. All right.